Last time on Capturing Life. Oh wow. Okay. But you know, I am disturbed, you know, <laughs> because you know, here I am, you know, waking up and I need to shower. It's like we're worlds apart, trying to find the light in the dark. It seems I can't find your heart. Why did we ever start? I'm lost, yeah. I'm lost in your heart. I'm lost in your heart. I'm lost, yeah. I'm lost in your heart. And I'm in the dark. Why did we ever start? Cause now we're worlds apart. Yes, sir. Yeah. This is good old LA. So while I was walking downtown, I stumbled on what I thought was a special event for Easter. So I think, I think this is some type of festival. Not quite sure what this is. Yeah, I think it's a festival of some sort. I'm on the wrong side of it though. I guess because it's Easter, you know. I later on learned that this was a farmer's market and it was actually a farmer's market with some really good stuff there. Some really good fruits, some good accessories, some handmade bags and good food. And the only thing that I was thinking in my head was, man, I wish I wasn't flying back. I wish I could have taken some of that stuff with me. Yes, sir. Capturing life, y'all. Capturing life. Some good stuff out here, man. y'all and I can't take none of it home <laughs> oh man wow man y'all look at these berries they look fake but they're real that's the crazy part wow The vendors at the farmer's market were remarkable. Now there was one vendor in particular that caught my eye because of the fact I've been focusing on my diet and trying to eat better. And this guy had, you know, all homemade keto desserts. That was the interesting thing about it. Now, when I walked up to his table, I'm not gonna lie, I thought he said that he wanted to kill people with food. Well, I make biohack snacks. Okay. So basically, my goal is to kill people through food. Kill people through food, all right. Kill people through food. That's quite not a with medicine, not with doctors, not with insurance companies, yeah. not with the government. F all that. <laughs> so yeah. all this food that I make is super healthy, super conscious. Uh -huh. You know Arrow One Markets? 
Say what? You know Erewhon Market? I do not. The most expensive grocery store on the planet? I, I do. So I learned how to, I learned every, I learned a lot of stuff there. I worked, I worked for them too. Really? As well as for me, biohacks now. So all this food is basically gonna teach your body to burn fat instead of burn sugar. Really? Yeah, and by, brief, by living on fat burning, you can store 30 times as much energy in fat as you can in sugar. Really? So our society are sugar burners because we all eat a bunch of sugar and carbs and it all turns into glucose in our body. Yeah. Which immediately starts attacking bones, joints, ligaments, cognition, blood flow, di uh, uh, digestive function, whereas keto fixes all that. Wow, man. And the way I do it, there's no aftertaste. Everything tastes like real food. Yeah. It doesn't taste fake. As opposed to a lot of times you eat something that's vegan or something that's keto. Yeah, it takes... It's, 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 yeah. Like it's not real. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't happen over here. So the best thing I could say, hey, when you're in downtown LA, you got to check out this historic farmer's market because there's some really great stuff there. And you really are going to be surprised with, you know, just the quality of the fruits there, man. I mean, it's really remarkable. Another thing that really surprised me was having the ability to meet a fellow musician. And this guy was tearing up the keys right at the door. What's up, Doc? Are oh, you vibing to that song over there? Yeah. If I can't beat him, I'm doing it, right? Right. I think I can play over them. Say what? I think I can play over them. <laughs> Before you run off and watch another YouTube video, I would just kindly ask if you just give me a couple of minutes of your time because I would really like for you to hear the real reason why I created this vlog and the mission behind it. So I created it for two reasons. The first reason is because I just wanted to create a positive space for any and everyone to come to to just feel encouraged to capture life and create visions. That's the first thing. The second reason why I created this vlog is because I wanted to create a platform for young creators that are upcoming, trying to be media professionals, filmmakers, camera operators, editors, media personalities, give them an opportunity that quite frankly, somebody gave me when I was in school, when I was growing up in the media world. And this is gonna be a great platform, guys. I can see it now, taking some young creators out across the world. And some of these creators are probably gonna be people that has never seen things like this before. But it's gonna take some funds to do that, which is why I just kindly ask, if you just donate to this platform uh, at the Jasper Films PayPal, it's not gonna to go to my pockets. It's gonna to go to this platform and this platform alone. I'm gonna put the information in the description of this video. But like I said, if you just go to PayPal and type in Jasper Films, make a donation, it would really mean a lot. Thank you.